Good morning, love bugs. Dina Jolie here, AKA Siren Bella says, I am here today because I have a confession. I don't wash my makeup off at night. Um, it's a habit that I've had for over 20 years. Having always worked in the nightclub industry, you know, I get home at like four o'clock in the morning fall into bed, I'm lucky to get out of my clothes, wake up, and I still have my makeup on from obviously the night before. And I was having a conversation with my sister and she was telling me, you know, Dina, like your makeup's only gonna look as good as the skin underneath it. And a huge part of great skin is taking your makeup off every single night. As a result, my skin doesn't have an opportunity to live its best life. Sleep is essential because it's when your body um, has an opportunity to you know, heal itself, to regenerate. And if I'm falling asleep with the same products that I've had on for the past 12, 15 hours, and I've got bacteria, and you know, faces up against a pillowcase, and blanket, and dog hair, and blah, 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 you know. And um, I've decided that February is going to be the month where I completely turn that around and I want to do it with you. So my sister had an idea that February could be, um, we could create a challenge and that challenge would be a wash the day off challenge. And it's where I challenge all of my um, Instagram and YouTube um, supporters, subscribers to um, wash your makeup off every day for 30 days straight. And at day one, day 15, and day 30, we take photographs comparing um, sort of how our skin looks, you know, during this journey. Um, and I would even encourage that we actually journal, you know, sort of taking inventory of the products that we're using, the products that we're working. Um, and ideally, the challenge would begin on February 1st, which would give us a, I think, Oh my God, I don't even know if today, yeah, today's the 30th, so that would give us one day to kind of mentally prepare. So it would re require a journal. It would require you to collect the skincare products that you have. So like, you know, a mild face cleanser, perhaps a toner, a moisturizer. Um, you, maybe you have a, a daytime and a, maybe a more emollient nighttime, um, you know, maybe moisturizer with a retinoid, a retinoid, if your face can tolerate retinoids. And I guess together we could just compare notes and um, you know pick up some useful information along the way. And I think it's always more fun to um, do these things with friends and family. So I hereby challenge you to um, take this journey with Hi, me. Hi love bugs, future Dina here. It is February 1st, it is late as hell. I have had a miserable two days. My truck was repossessed by the bank yesterday for you know failure to pay. I've had a really shitty few months. And today was an equally miserable day. Um, my coffee machine broke. That's just like the low of the list. But my point is, I was scrolling through my album, came across this video that I recorded a few days ago, and I was like, looking at myself and this is a prime example of why this challenge is so fucking needed so I hope you take this challenge with me 28 days of clean nighttime skin which I hope means in 28 days we will have just gorgeous daytime skin that is ready to receive whatever makeup or non makeup that we want to apply thank you for watching the next time you see me I will look a lot more alive you know but Say a prayer for me. I'm praying for you all too. I love you guys. Hope you're warm.